Hey guys, how y'all doing? It's Chris and Gio back again with you guys from ChrisandGio.com. So today, I just want to come with you guys with a, with a quick tidbit, a little bit something to help you go with your week. And for today, it's I'm calling it the one thing that will surely sabotage you from the jump, even before you get started in your entrepreneurship um, endeavor. Now, this could be for anything, not just entrepreneur, um, anything that you're trying to do that's, you know, you really wanted to do, you're really focused on your dream, your goals, your aspirations, and it can pretty much stop you in your tracks and you don't even see it coming. So, um, so yeah, it's this one thing, it's this one thing that can really sabotage you. And it's a, it's really, it's really, well, how do I call it? It's really, it sneaks up on you because if you don't know about it, you're not going to know that it's like that it's there and it's destroying you from the inside out kind of like a parasite right or like a, a a virus that's sitting inside you and you're all around you and you have no idea that it's there but what's it doing it's sucking resources right it's sucking up your energy and making you feel tired and fatigued and worn down right it's kind of like that's what cancer is like that's what it does they it's something there that's just taking resources and energy from you and you have no idea that it's happening um, and what is it that I'm talking about? I'm talking about the feeling of being overwhelmed. Yeah, it's a big one. Now, when I, what do I mean by overwhelmed? I mean like um, that feeling of like, how am I going to do this, right? Let's say you're trying to open up a restaurant. Let's say you're trying to open up a, a babysitting deal. Or maybe you're just starting up your online business or whatever. And you're like, oh, you have this really cool idea. You're like, oh, this is a really cool idea. I want to do this. It would be great. I would love it. Great. But how do I do it? Um, okay, I gotta get this. Okay, um, I gotta get logos. I gotta get branding. Okay, or uh, who's gonna help me with this? Okay, well, where do I start? Okay, um, it feels like okay, so much. Oh my goodness. Oh, I didn't know that this like just setting up a shop is this much work. I gotta get legals. I gotta get accounting. I gotta do all these things. Okay, am I gonna be able to do this? I don't know. It's like a lot. Uh, this is too much and then like it's just building and building and building right it's that feeling of you're just overwhelmed like it's just too much I can't do it I don't know I will never be able to do it it's just way too much I'm just gonna quit I'm just gonna stop right so what's the end result of that you stopped you quit right and that is the thing that probably plagues like maybe I'm guessing here maybe like 90 95 percent of people who try to do anything I know it happened to me because I tried to be an entrepreneur, right? Um, probably like maybe two, three years ago, right out of school, right? Finished pharmacy school and was like, okay, great. And started working and then realized, man, mortgages, school loans, families, kids, all these things cost a grip, <laughs> right? And I was like, okay, I'm gonna need to find something to supplement what I'm doing and find a way to like really be able to provide the lifestyle that I want for my family and in the future. And so I started looking to become an entrepreneur. So I started looking at things, investments, real estate, things like that. But if your mind is not there, if you don't know about this sabotage from the jump, it's really tough. And I didn't have anybody to tell me, you know, started doing stuff with a struggle. Couldn't figure it out. Couldn't figure it out. And I'm a very analytical type of person. And if you're that kind of person, like, you know, that's it makes it even tougher because you really want to look at things and say, I want all my things like put out and in, in, you know, set out and I want to see the entire picture before I go and do anything. Everything must be clear, right? I gotta have all the details put together. And that doesn't work. <laughs> And that doesn't work. And when the details are not there, you feel overwhelmed because becoming an entrepreneur is is more than just having everything together because a lot of times you're not going to have everything together, right? It's just the way it is. You're just not going to have everything in front of you. The answers are not going to be there. And so because they weren't, I felt overwhelmed. I felt unsure. And what happened? I shut down. It took me forever to do anything. Um, and so it wasn't until re later and recently I met with some key people and my mindset was switched around, right? So what happens? It definitely happens. I lost about two years. Didn't even know it. Didn't even know it because my mind wasn't, it was there. I was overwhelmed. I felt like I couldn't figure it all out, right? 
And so what is the answer to that? The answer is focusing on what it is that you do want. Right? And this was a big for me. Like I was like, really? So writing out what it is that I wanted. What do I want for myself, the, for my family? Right? What do I want for my future? What significance do I want? What, do, what does my pr success look like? Writing it out and focusing on that really on a regular basis and putting my faith to work. Right? That was a big thing. Me and my brother, we talked about that. Like faith. What is really faith? If we truly have faith in and whoever, you know, your higher power is for me, I, it's my good Lord, my, my good Lord, Jesus Christ. If I truly have faith in him, then that means I should be really putting my faith in him and the things that I know I can't control and allowing him to take over those things, you see. Um, and that was something I really had to pull it all together and say, you know what, that that's key, you know, that I, I can't figure these things out. I don't know it. That's the thing. Once you realize you don't know, but what do you know? You know that if you ask, you will receive. You just have to keep on asking. Keep on asking. And that's really what, it, what I've been doing in the process of doing a lot of other people are doing, right? It's just kind of like in that process. But you first got to start asking. You start asking, you will receive, right? And then that feeling of overwhelm kind of just goes away because you, like, you, you know the things that you can't control, you just can't control. That's it. You do the things that you can't control. We do the things that we know that's in our face and we just do on that. And the magic is this. This is why I didn't realize I figured out the magic is this, right? Is as you're doing the things that you can do that are in front of you and you don't worry about the things you can't see or control, but you're focused on the end result but and you're doing the things that are in front of you, the things that you're doing in front of you will eventually reveal new steps in front of you to do. And then you, so you do those things, still focused on the end goal, and then those new steps will then provide you with new steps. Okay, oh, well, I, I can do this. I didn't know that. And you start doing that, right? And then still focused on the end goal. And then before you know it, you're like just taking the steps that are presented in front of you. It's kind of like the good Lord is saying, I'm going to give you this first, but before I give you anything, you got to do that first, <laughs> right? You do that. Without being overwhelmed, without second guessing yourself or second guessing me, I'll give you some new stuff to do, right? So it's kind of like he's giving it to a piece by piece, testing us, right? It's part of the deal. And that's what I realized. It's the process. It's that part of the deal of the process. It's just got to go through the process. It's really just all there is to it. Take away the feeling overwhelmed because being overwhelmed is the feeling of that you can't do it, that you're not worthy enough, that you don't have enough to do it, that you're not skilled enough or talented enough or smart enough. And that's garbage. That's garbage. You got to, we got to remove that, take that crap out of our heads because that's what I had to do. And, and we'll all, we all have to do it because it's, we're human and it's kind of how we're raised into. And we work, tweak our brains and our minds and say, that's garbage. I know what I'm capable of. I have value. I'm worthy. I can do so much in this world. It's my passion. If there's someone out here that wants to know about my passion, and darn it, they're going to know about it. But I got to believe in myself first and my passion, have faith in myself and in the good Lord or, or wherever your source is and be able to take steps without knowing where I'm going. And that was key, especially for you analytical types kind of like me, being willing to take steps when you don't know where you're going. So... And then before you know it, that feeling overwhelmed is no good. It's out of there, right? You're focused on your win you winning, and before you know it, you get there, right? But that's the magic. Is it starts rough, right? Everybody got to start there. And now that I know, now we know that it's all good, right? So we at least we can do it together. So man, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope that was valuable to you. Hope that's something you could take with you and. Hopefully, it makes a difference in somebody's life and somebody's deal. And so, yep, if you did, if you did like it, then, man, be sure to find me on my fan page, right? I'm sure you can see the ticket down here. <laughs> yeah. And find me on my fan page. Be sure to like it. Set it so that you can see the notifications first. So when I get come out with good vid new videos like this, be helpful for your entrepreneurs, for your home business owners, for you folks that are just trying to get out there and be, do more, be more, and create more. So until next time, guys, I want you to be blessed and stay hungry. <laughs>